Well, hello, this is Greg Elwell with B2B Inbound, and this is going to be a tutorial on how to search and find podcasts in the iTunes um, store. So, first of all, we are looking at iTunes right now. Let me scroll up so you can see at the top of this, you have um, a bunch of banners going across and they're rotating. Uh, these are various podcasts that Apple decides to feature based on popularity. So, you know, popularity popularity having to do with uh, downloads, um, recent subscribers, relation, um, ratings and reviews, things like that. You know, what's hot? Um, and then you also notice, um, and this is this what we what we're showing here in just the general podcast category are really all podcasts, all categories. Um, uh, so it's all lumped in together here and then you have this new and noteworthy section uh, that's right below the featured podcast and I'll talk about that in, in, in just a minute uh, but let's go ahead and search for let's say that we're we want to find a category um, in business so we want to look at business podcasts so you can see all the different categories that they have here Every, everything from arts to business kids and family, music, TV, film, technology, um, religion, and spirituality. It's all right here. So let's go to business. All right, so our screen refreshes, and now what we have is, let's stick with this new and noteworthy section for a second. The new and noteworthy section are all the podcasts that are most popular within the first eight weeks that they are released or listed in iTunes. And again, you got to think about this in terms of uh, downloads, recent subscriptions, ratings, and reviews. There's some algorithm that Apple uses to determine which are the popular podcasts by category, and they show them in the new and noteworthy section in the first eight weeks that um, that those podcasts have been published and listed in iTunes. So it's really, really important that, um, for instance, you know, John Lee Dumas uh, talks about this in his book, Podcast Launch. He's got a whole section on new and noteworthy in iTunes and how important it is to really come out of the gate strong if you are a podcast producer in terms of having a number of episodes that you can launch and and working hard at getting others uh, that you know to download your podcast subscribe to your podcast and certainly give it a rating and review uh, because if you have uh, your podcast listed in this section obviously uh, you're gonna have you're gonna your podcast is going to be more visible to those that come into iTunes and start looking at podcasts you want yours to be one of the first ones that they see all right we're gonna drill into that a little bit and just a little bit later but let's go ahead and look at the right hand side here um, where we have uh, business audio as you can see and uh, there's a couple sections down here on the right hand side uh, to take a look at you have top episodes in the overall business category now keep in mind that there's a number of subcategories within each of the major categories and I'll, and I'll show that in, in just a moment but it first lists the top episodes here's Dave Ramsey show he's got an episode here um, that he recorded and that's what the, that's currently the top episode in the business category and you can see all the other um, ones there as well so all you'd have to do is just click on it and you would be able to either listen to it or you could download it you could you know sync it up uh, to your uh, mobile device your iPhone your iPod your iPod uh, touch I should say or your iPad um, and then you've got the top podcasts. So not only do you have top episodes, but you have the top podcasts in these in this category. In this category, uh, again, overall business. And you can see Dave Ramsey is doing pretty well. He's got the number two ranked podcast and the number one podcast episode. And I I've seen that to be pretty consistent with Dave Ramsey. He's he's normally on the top. So uh, that might be one that you want to check out. Now, here are the other business subcategories that we have in iTunes. We have, for instance, management and marketing. That's the one I want to go to. That's the one that I'm in, and that's the one that, uh, most, uh, that I most listen to. So here we go. Again, we have the new and noteworthy section. And again, there's, there's a total of eight podcasts that go across here. I'm only showing five because my screen is uh, shrunk um, and you can see so who they are right and and if you wanted to look at more all you would need to do is click on 
um, the uh, oh sorry see all I'm in the wrong place here <laughs> click on see all and it would show you all the podcasts that they have currently showing in the new and noteworthy section um, is kind of I think ordered in terms of popularity so you can scroll down that and you can just kind of look and see if anything catches your eye you know what might you be interested in um, based upon the artwork here and uh, the headlines of the shows the uh, hosts of the shows things like that all right but but you know let's let's face it I mean it's um, I mean who's got the time to do all that right so um, you know what you might want to do is um, get a little bit more scientific and drill down a little bit more in terms of what you might be looking for so again in the in the business management and marketing section you have again top episodes and then you have top podcasts and it looks like the um, HBR idea cast has the top episode and also has a currently the top podcast in the business management and marketing section okay so again this is different from what we just saw which was all of business but if we narrow it down it gets we drill down into these subcategories and and you can see um, what's really popular in these subcategories and that might be a good way for you to select a podcast um, uh, to either listen to by episode or uh, the whole podcast itself um, in terms of all the different episodes and then you can subscribe to it as well so here for instance is here's some that I'm aware of that I listen to the smart passive income podcast by Pat Flynn here is the social media marketing podcast that's Michael Stelzner's this is your life My Michael Hyatt I listen to that one uh, Seth Godin's got a podcast and so on and so forth okay so now it, let's say you wanted to look at more you know um, so let all you would need to do is click on top podcast and and now you have and here, here you have all of the t the top podcasts that are in this particular category management and marketing podcast and there's a total of what what Apple is going to show you in iTunes is they're going to show you a total of 200 of the top podcasts in your in the category that you're looking at um, here's Chris Brogan's podcast here's Serini's broadcast FM I listen to that one um, in in this in this uh, in this listing okay so you can go all the way down there's a total of 200 now there's there, there's more than 200 um, there's somewhere in the neighborhood of I think I heard 200,000 or 250,000 total podcasts in iTunes uh, so there's a lot there and so because of that you know you might not find the one that you're looking for um, so what you might want to do is you might want to um, uh, do a keyword search and and here's how um, that works if you go up to the uh, top search bar and put your cursor in there and you type in what you what you're looking for so let's say you're looking for inbound marketing an inbound marketing podcast okay so I've typed that in and now we're gonna go search for the podcasts that are in that category or in that you know in that um, uh, in that context of those keywords so here's the podcast up at the top here as you could imagine they have inbound in them so there's a number of HubSpot po um, related podcasts here and um, so what you can do with this is you can you can scroll to the right and you can see other podcasts that might be in this category okay of inbound marketing there you go it's a bunch of them so you can kinda you know drill down and get into it now here's mine expert interviews podcast and I have mine listed in here mine shows up because in my description and my show um, my headline of my show it says inbound and I also have inbound marketing as you go further into that and um, if you're reading my blog you'll, you'll see how I have optimized uh, for the term inbound marketing so um, so that's great so you want to be able to show up when people might be searching for specific things relative to your uh, your show so uh, another one that is important to be to me is b2b marketing so I, if I type in b2b marketing let's see what pops up here and here's iPad apps here's iPhone apps. here's here's our podcast right down here okay 
uh, podcast and here I am again um, expert interviews podcast that's me um, so uh, again so let me go ahead and I tell you what let me click on that so you can get a sense of um, how I, I have uh, just recently optimized my my page my listing in iTunes so B2B inbound expert interviews podcast inbound marketing remember we just searched for that content marketing B2B marketing so I've just shown you inbound marketing and B2B marketing how I show up for those and I would tell you I will also show up if you type in content marketing um, I will also show up because look at um, what a lot of people do and I just learned this myself recently is in terms of the the author or the host of the show a lot of people just put in their name like I did that I just had expert interviews podcast Greg Elwell but now I put all these other keywords in here along with my you know a little bit more of a description of my name uh, that goes along with my name and what I'm all about so people can get to know me a little bit better and actually these become keywords that are searchable as well up in the search box uh, in the iTunes uh, store so you know if you typed in things like thought leader writer content marketer um, that I would probably show up and then I also have a number of different um, so I have a full description of my show here what it's all about and there's keywords in here as well that's um, relative to my show and the content of my podcast all right so um, that's how you can find a podcast a number of different ways just by kind of doing general searches but then you can also do searches uh, that are more specific and narrow based upon your interest level based upon keywords so thanks for joining me on this uh, tutorial on how to search and find podcasts in iTunes store I hope you found it valuable